Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Star Trek Online. And we are on the Federation side with Ensign Ricky and we are continuing our look at the reputation system. Today we're going to get Romulan marks and I'm going to start doing all the patrols in Tau Dewa sector and show you what all that is about. First thing I want to show you real quick is remember in our last episode we started o an Omega project, two of them actually. Well this is what happens when they complete, I wanted to show you. When they are done, it says after the 20 hours of course, it says collect reward and so they don't automatically turn themselves in, you have to manually claim them. So once I claim it, I'm going to get 340 dilithium and then 2000 um, Omega reputation. Right now you see I have zero reputation. So I'll collect that one and it's done. Now this one it gave 800 reputation and 140 dilithium so collect war reward on that and now it's done and now when I go back to status you can see now I'm at 2800 reputation and the bar has gone up um, about halfway. So I'm um, halfway to tier 1. I'm still tier zero of course, I have to get all the way to the end of tier one and then do the little upgrade mission that takes 15 minutes and then you'll be tier one. But in order to can, in order to get to tier one of course, I have to keep adding projects so that's where I go back and again I add the same two projects, really that's all that's there so um, that's all we can add. Add that project, add this project and uh, do the same thing I did before on uh, in the last video just uh, select all our materials and I don't have this stuff right now I'll um, get this stuff in a little bit but uh, just pretend that I uh, already had this stuff and I was contributing it and then these have um, started for another 20 hours um, I'll do it off camera and get that going so maybe the next time I when I show you will be close to tier one and I can show you what you have to do to actually uh, get to do the next tier. Um, I won't be able to show you the stores though because those are also you have to unlock and that takes time and a lot of resources to unlock the stores. Um, so that's how projects work. I turn those in and now I can start these and you just keep waiting another 20 hours. So that's the Omega stuff. Of course I had a lot of Omega marks because I've been kind of working on that on the side. Um, but the one we don't have is the Romulan marks. I have absolutely no Romulan marks. So we've already added the projects from um, the last video, but we need Romulan marks. Now these don't require too much at tier one. You see we only need nine for this one and 17 for this one. So you don't need a whole lot. But as you get higher in tiers, um, the requirements do become higher. So how do you get Romulan marks? Okay, well, if I can stop clicking everywhere on my screen, how you get Romulan marks is basically in the Tau Dewa sector. Uh, everything you need is there. It's between Cyvalorum and Pycanus, whole new sector block. So we are in um, sector space right now. And I am going to head straight toward Regulus. So on the map, um, basically I'm at Seoul, so all I need to do is go straight toward the Regulus sector. Now once I hit Regulus, I keep hitting the wrong buttons, once I hit Regulus, um, then we just have to go down to Tau Dewa, down here. Um, and then once I enter that sector block, uh, that is where I'm going to be able to do the patrols. Uh, like I had mentioned, pretty much every system in Taldewa has a patrol. But there are several that don't. But most, the, I would say the majority of systems have a patrol. But now how do you get Romulan marks out of that? Well, you have to do the little mission, and it has a progress indicator, and it says uh, percentage done of whatever, of 100. And so you just do enough patrols that eventually you get 100% done and you turn that in and you get like a whole bunch of Romulan marks. So that's what I'm going to show you today and I don't know how this is going to work out in the videos because I'm not sure how long this is going to take to be honest with you. Um, I, I don't know if we could do a whole patrol in 45 minutes uh, as in a whole 
um, some of getting all the Romulan marks in 45 minutes. I, I want to try to keep these videos under 45 minutes. I don't want them to go too long. Uh, so we will see what happens. I may end up having to break this into two videos so I can show you, because I'm going to show you every single patrol. Even if it's not going to get us any more Romulan marks, I just want to show you the patrol anyway. There, It's a daily, so it cools down and you can do it once a day. And here we go, Tau Dewa. Alright. All right, so here we go. This is the new sector block added in Season 7. Tau Dewa, and I, I don't know why I keep hitting you. I mean to hit M. <laughs> All right, let's turn uh, the right way here. There we go. Okay, so this is the Tau Dewa sector block. Now, you have three different sectors in this block. You have this sector, this sector, and this sector. And you can see how they're kind of like in uh, blocks, right? In each sector, you have a star system. You have the Jurette system, the Karaiyaiyaiyaiyaiyaiyaiyaiyaiyaiyaiyaiyaiyaiyaiyaiyaiyaiyaiyaiyaiyaiyaiyaiyaiyaiyaiyaiyaiyaiyaiyaiyai
um, you get even more Romulan marks. So I, I suggest trying to tie, time it up with one of those so you get the most uh, marks that you can in one run. Because this is a daily, you can only do it once a day. All right, so we accept Thank it. Thank you for your assistance. And here's what I was talking about with the percentage. It says complete patrol missions in the Taldewa sector 0%. This is different than other patrol missions in the past of this game. In the past it would say do like, you know, six patrols or four patrols or whatever. It would have a, an exact number. This one doesn't have a number. It has a percentage. And the reason why is because some of these take longer than others. So the really big ones uh, basically have a bigger percentage and the smaller ones that you can do really quickly like maybe diplomatic ones or something might have less uh, may count overall less of a percentage so how many you have to do actually depends on which ones you want to do um, there are ones that are strictly ship battle you go in and you fight groups and groups of enemies and then there's the diplomatic ones where you have to go in and like help people and uh, there's um, that's kind of pretty much the only two there are <laughs> most of them to be honest with you are fighting groups of enemies so if you figure out which ones those are and you figure out which ones you like then all you have to do is do those exact same ones that you like each time and just keep in mind which ones you like to do um, so you don't have to do all of them in order to complete the patrol mission. That's what I'm trying to get at. It, it does not require that you do every single patrol. Um, it, it's going to be about like maybe one, two, three, four, maybe five or six, and then you're going to be done. Um, and you're still going to have patrols left. Doing extra patrols will not earn you extra Romulan marks. You can only get the marks through the daily if you have it active. Once it hits 100% and you turn that in for your marks, you're done. Now you can still go, you can still technically go back and, and play any patrol at any time. You just won't get the marks for it unless this mission is active. So let's just jump right to it. I'm going to start in a sector block, this one. And we're going to work from sector block to sector block. I'm going to start with the Jurette system. Then I'm going to go here, and then I'm bounce here, and bounce here, and here, and here, and, and on and on and on. So just keep an eye on the system that I'm doing. And if that's a kind of patrol that you would like to do, um, just uh, remember that. So that way that will, can be one of the patrols that you do. And um, if there's one you really don't want to do, because um, there are a couple in here I actually hate to death and I skip them every time because I don't like those I do the ones I like so but in before you know we can figure out what you like or don't like you have to try every single one so that's what I'm gonna do today it may take uh, a couple of videos uh, depending on how long this goes so let's jump let's go to the Jurette system and um, this is basically how you start patrols. You simply uh, just go straight to each system and as you get close to it a window will pop up and if it has a patrol um, it, it'll have a mission that you can engage right there on that star system. And on this one it does have one so I'll show you what that is. See right here it says enter Jurette system. That means it has a patrol. I can enter the system and do something. So that is a patrol that I can do. See, the Jurette system was once the site of a new Providence Federation colony with more than 900 inhabitants. In 2366, the colony was destroyed by a Borg attack, an assault so complete that the colony itself was scooped off the planet, leaving behind a massive crater. A failed attempt to recolonize Jurette 4 ended in the mid-2380s. So, we'll start with this as our first patrol. Now, how many percentage points we get for doing it, I don't know. I don't have that memorized, so we'll just have to see... Um, you know when we get it done where we are now this one is really easy um, I'll, I'm gonna go ahead and read the dialogue um, but this one is uh, takes very little time to do um, if you don't stick if you don't you know read and stuff the Federation colony of New Providence disappeared oh yeah well we, we've already learned that um, leaving only a massive crater where a thriving settlement once stood later 
Investigation by the Enterprise determined that the Borg were responsible. The Borg's reasons for attacking this particular colony world are not known, so Starfleet and the Klingon High Command have decided, upon advice from Admiral Devok and Omega Force, to build a new listening outpost at this location. That way we'll have early warning of any new Borg incursions in this area of space. Proceed to the Jorat 4 construction facilities and assist their efforts. Our goal is to set up this listening station, and it's so easy. First thing is to fly to this first satellite straight ahead. Hail construction facility. Welcome to Jurette 4, Tom Baker. We are in the midst of building a significant listening post to watch for Borg movement. We have two major orbital facilities under construction, and we're building a network of satellites as well. I'm uploading the coordinates to you now. So, our job is to tune comma ray elements, two of them, and aid satellite construction, two of them. And you'll notice there's two satellites. First one you want to fly to is the very back one. Or I guess we can start here, doesn't matter. Yeah, we'll st yeah, because you have to do both of them anyway, so. Now, here's the thing. Um, in order to fix the satellite, there's like a little mini game I think you can do, but there's an easier way to do it. Watch this. Examine satellite. This satellite and others like it will boost subspace relay signals in this system so that the sensor array is more likely to intercept communications traffic. The satellites still need a lot of work before they're ready to activate. We can spare some time to use the ship facilities in a construction. Complete the, inf the interactions or use your whole repair abilities, such as engineering team, to work on the satellites. So you can use the interactions or the easy way. I mean, you can do all that stuff there, but here's the easy way. Click on the satellite and hit your engineering team. Bam. Satellite fixed. That's all we got to do. Next satellite. All we have to do is do the exact same thing. Wait for the cooldown and then hit engineering team and you're done. With the sat with these two satellites. Bam, done. Now we have to go tune the comma ray. And that is at this satellite way over here. Now this one, it does have a mini game, but it's really easy to do, and you have to do it twice. Tune comma ray. You just do one of these wave patterns, and you just do it twice. There we go. Done. Uh-oh. An enemy. Picking up enemy ships. Now we have to go repel an enemy enemy ships. Two of them. Warning, ship is under attack. Target shield has failed. Target shields have failed. There we 
go. That patrol, or that star system, is done. And you can see it went up 15%. So that one cost us 15%. Or, yeah, 15%. Now we can depart. So I like that Jurette system uh, pretty good because it's real fast. You can just go to the satellites, hit your engineering team, go do the little mini game on the other satellite, and then you have enemies spawn and you have to take care of them. Now the enemies spawn are random. This time it was Orions, sometimes it's Borg, sometimes it's Klingon. Um, the enemy varies, but um, it's always the... Um, same kind of deal, same pattern there. And that uh, gets us 15% uh, done of the patrol. So that is one patrol. Now we'll go to the next star system. Let's head over to the Kararia system. And let's see if there is a patrol there. Remember, not every system has one. But we will see. Won't know until we get there. So yeah, the Jurette one, pretty simple, pretty easy. You might want to keep that one on your list to do. Easy 15%. Alright, let's see. We're getting pretty close. It should pop up here if there is one. Yes, there it is. There is a patrol in this system. Um, be careful not to hit deep space encounter. That's a whole different thing. That's uh, this thing right here, enemy signal contact, um, which is not uh, what we want. We want the Karaya uh, system. Okay, this one is pretty easy. This is just what I was talking about where uh, most of them are you have to attack a certain amount of groups. And this one, we have to defeat Tal Shiar ships. And the Tal Shiar, you know, are the uh, basically the Section 31 of the Romulan Empire. Admiral, there are Romulan ships in the system, but they are not part of the colony fleet. The Tal Shiar has been threatening vessels. So, um, blah, 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 take out the Tal Shiar. Five groups of Tal Shiar. And they all spawn right on top of you. Ooh, and look nice who to see someone else who answers distress calls. Look who joined the fight. It's the USS Enterprise. The Enterprise F. Yes, this will happen randomly when you're in a patrol. The Enterprise F may show up and assist you. Which is just completely awesome. So we have a little help from the Enterprise. Isn't that cool? Warning. The ship is under attack. See the enemy spawn right on top of you. But, but I like these, these are fun. It's a good test of your ship's uh, systems. If you want to test your ship build, um, doing these patrols is a good way to do that. Try the Riker maneuver. Oh yeah, there we go. That's awesome. Look at that. I took out all the those ships. That was nice.
four out of five. We got the last one now. Okay, there we go, another one done. And look, we're up to 35% now. So these ones with battles, um, they definitely get you more percentage uh, than those other smaller ones. So doing a bunch of these uh, really does help. So we're up to 35% already on this, not bad. So that is another patrol down. And uh, as I was trying to say before, um, these uh, where you have to fight groups of enemies are really good to te is really good to test your ship build uh, because um, you get all the effects of the different enemies. I'll tell you the hardest ones are the Tholians, and there is one with Tholians in it, so that's pretty fun. So the Jurette and the Karari system, I like those two. Let's try the Akamar system. I, I do remember this one, and I don't like this one, but. I need to show you all of them, so I'll show it to you, but this is not my favorite, um, not my favorite patrol. Because it's got a little bit of diplomacy with the Akamars from Star Trek The Next Generation, if you remember them. Akamarians, or whatever they were. Inter, well, let's read about it a little bit first just so we can uh, familiarize ourselves with it. The Akamar system consists of three planets orbiting a binary class A star. Akamar 3 is the home of the Akamarians. The Akamarians are a warp-capable cult culture once split by violent intra-clan conflicts and rivalries. They put aside their feuds in the 23rd century, but it wasn't until 2366 that Jean-Luc Picard was able to negotiate a peace settlement that reunited the Akamarians with the Gatherers, a group of off-world nomads who had refused to be part of earlier settlements. So now maybe you can now remember who those people are. So, what's, what are we doing here if uh, everything's fine? Let's see. Sir, the Akamarians have suffered from clan strife since before they were a world-capable species. Although they are now unified under a sovereign old clan, uh, so under a sovereign, Old clan loyalties and rival rivalries still surface from time to time. Since the Akamarians are a spacefaring species in an important sector of space, stability here is vital. Rendezvous with an Akamarian ship and assist. See, this is what I hate is these negotiation type missions. Because if you don't get the answers right, um, <laughs> it can either fail the mission or it leads to something crazy. So here's an Akamarian frigate and we're going to have to be diplomatic. <laughs> as diplomatic as I can be, I guess. Thank you for responding to our request, Admiral. Although Akamarian society has made great strides in unifying its government, the revelation of secret clan assassins several decades ago le led to renewed suspicions between the clans. We are attempting to settle the difference in an inter-clan dispute. While we are currently using diplomacy, the situation is tense and I fear it may spill into violence. As a neutral party, your assistance would be appreciated. Moderate the Akamarian's dispute. So this one's going to be a lot of reading and answering questions. And Oh, you're flying away from me, are you? Aren't you? So that's why I kind of hate it. I just want to like shoot everybody and get it over with. But I guess I can't. Nope, a little too fast there. Alright. Well, let's talk to him and get this over with. You have been brought in to mediate this dispute? Fine, perhaps you can settle this with an unbiased perspective. Um, what is the basis of your conflict? The other clans are deliberately denying us necessary resources for our continued survival. 
How can we be expected to contribute to the welfare of Akamar when we cannot feed our own people? That is pure hyperbole. All of the clans are well fed and housed. If your clan cannot meet its demand for industrial wares, then perhaps it should engage in more mining or refining operations. So here's where I need to be careful what I, how I answer. A clan that cannot meet its own needs can hardly be expected to contribute resources that it doesn't have, or surely the other clans can aid their fellows in this time of scarcity. I'm going to choose this option. That sounds good. The, um, oh, and one thing I forgot to mention. Um, these questions, they change. Um, you'll have different ones, like this one's about food or whatever. Uh, sometimes it's about um, security aid and other stuff, so... Um, the questions do change. You actually have to read it every time because it changes. The clans all have needs. Our resources simply are not as great as those of a galactic empire that spans many star systems. Our people are no strangers to hardship. This sort of complaint is beneath our dignity. Um, let's see, where is the clan's pride? Its self-sufficiency, its willingness to make sacrifices, or... This clan has already humbled itself by admitting its needs. Surely something can be arranged. That sounds like what something Picard would say, so let's choose it. The other clans refuse to provide technical expertise or materials. We must take what we need. So if you start an armed conflict, your clan's lack of resources will only make matters more difficult for you. Akamar is not the only trading partner in the sector. Technical expertise is available in neighboring systems. I kind of like both of those. I don't know which one to go with. One's probably going to lead to failing, and one's going to lead to not failing, I don't know. Choose that one. Perhaps you're right, there is still much to consider, but a possible solution is better than this stalemate. My clan will evaluate this at a greater length. We will signal the Sovereign when we are ready to meet again. Yay, I did it! Oh crap. Oh guys. Tal Shiar showed up out of nowhere. Crap, they got a Daredex battleship. Ooh, that was a good shot. That was a very good shot. Almost. Okay, let's get the smoke guy out of the way. Okay, wow, there we go. Right shield failing. Oops. So basically, if you do things right, you still have to fight enemies. And if you do things wrong, I think you have to fight like everybody. <laughs> but um, anyway, that one's done. We're up to 50% now. Half of our patrols are done already. Hopefully the Akamarians will manage to settle their disputes. In the meantime, we'll just have to check back occasionally. Yep, depart system. So, that's why I don't like that mission particularly. Because every time you do it, the questions and the answers change. So you actually have to read it and think about it each time. And, um, and then at the end of it, you still have to fight the Tal Shiar. So, um, I would rather just fight five groups of ships and get it over with. So, that's the Jurette, the Carraria, and the Akamar. But those three systems together were already halfway done with the patrol. And there's still a ton of systems left. So, making very good progress. You can see that this technically, um, if I weren't like talking through all this and reading everything, um, you can get these patrols done pretty fast. Um, let's, let's head to the Japori system next.